Gainesville bus station. I'm currently outside of waiting for my ride to the Delonica Hostel. Delonica Hostel. Upstairs in the loft. Take your own back.
station where you go to sign in. They have a plaque here, commemorative. Let's go weigh our pack and see how much it weighs. Unfortunately, I am weighing in at about 49 to 50 pounds. At the end of the day, that's just too much weight. But like I said, you're carrying most of your weight within the first week. I know I got a little extra in there, so I'm not worried about it. That's basically the little thing that keeps me here. Wow. Just pay hey, isn't that great? We're looking at number 49. 49. I kind of started early. It's February 23rd. Yeah, but it's also a little warmer than normal stuff. So anyway, you may have to jump on things. So there you have it. Yeah, the weather is pretty good. As you can see, they have um, like backpacker clinics here, and what they'll do is they'll give you like you know classes on stuff. And this is a this is a a yearly thing, and it's always around March second, third, and fourth. And it's it's really an official thing. You know, you can catch this every year. So if you come early, you know, and you plan your hike around March, then you have this to look forward to. You can take in some of those clinics here at Emicolola Falls. I'm going to spend a day here in the falls, you know, taking you around. I want you to see the falls. I want you to see the lodge and pretty much some of the, um, some of the scenic things, things that are, that you can see in Emicolola Falls. Because most people, what they'll do is they'll come in, and some of them don't even sign in. I would say maybe 15 to 20 percent of the people actually sign into the park and get a, an official number, so to speak, so the park can have some some count as to how many people are on the trail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm here at Amagola Falls. Like I said, I'm gonna sleep in the shelter here at the, at the falls. I'll show you what that shelter looks like, and then we're gonna take a walk through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the falls. I'm gonna show you the the lodge. And for for just general purpose, um, the movie um, Vampire Diaries. A segment of it, an episode was actually shot here at the falls and even at, and even at Springer Mountains. If I remember, I'll point it out as I'm going through. Okay. Okay, this is the back side of the uh, park station. You come through, you sign in, you come through the back doors, you walk down the yellow brick road, you pass through these golden arches, and you are on your way here. The approach trail for the Appalachian Trail, it'll tell you Springer Mountains is 8.5 miles. However, where it says Katahdin is 2,108 miles, you can tell this sign is old. When I went through in 2005, it was 2,172 miles. Lord only knows how much it is now. But at least there you have some kind of indication as to what you're working with. You kind of come through, and they, they've since rerouted the trail, but that's really not important unless you've already, unless you knew what was going on beforehand. It used to be pick up the approach trail, you'd go right up through here. And there was really nothing to see, just wood line, and that was a pretty strenuous hike in and of itself. Now, what they're doing now is you got a reroute right here. And this reroute will take you through the uh, restoration of the falls and the things that they did to actually make it more of a tourist-friendly thing. I don't know why this is so blurry. But yeah, so that's where we're going. We're going to take this trail straight on through. I'm going to veer off the trail and show you where I'm set up. That's my tent. This is the shelter. And this is in the park itself. You have a nice little fire pit going on over here. And uh, this is not one of the best shelters you'll find on the trail. However, since it's so close to the station, it's actually maintained pretty good. It's one of the few that's actually sheltered like that with the screen. This particular shelter is called the Max, what is this? The Max B. Epperson Senior Trail Shelter. So we got this gentleman here to thank for the trail there. Um, I may not show you just to conserve film, but the good thing about this shelter is you can go right down this hill if you follow my finger, and there's a restroom that's open 24 hours, has hot showers, everything. And there's been many nights where I've come and started my hike in February, froze to death in this shelter, and actually slept in the bathroom under the heater. Matter of fact, I think I will show you that next. Okay, tent, there we go. This particular bathroom sits adjacent from the shelter, I would say about 100 meters, maybe 150 tops. You come through here when you're cold and freezing at night, there are lights. And uh, 
this will be a nice refuge for you. This restroom right here is set up to this automated heater system here. Stay a nice toasty temperature. Sometimes I've had to actually go up there and flip on the power. Um, this is a the shower right here. And uh, yes, the water gets hot. All the facilities you need. Like I said, the bathroom is 24 hours. I've actually got in a sleeping bag, put it right here in this corner, and went to sleep. With, you know, blocking out the freezing cold out there and this warm little sauna box, you can call it. So uh, that's just, you know, one more advantage as to why you'd want to test your gear in the park before you go. Because where would you be if you're on a mountaintop, your bag doesn't work and you're sitting there freezing to death. So one more thing to think about. And you get the extra added amenity of a shower when you need it. See that lodge up there? Way up there? That's where we're going. And that's at the top of the falls. We're going to start at the base and go all the way up. All right.